this audience of 8,000 people has gathered to watch a national institution, the proms. But I'm going on first, about to entertain this crowd by convincing them that something dreadful's about to happen. No, I haven't taken up the cello, but what I'm about to do will probably cause just as much shock and amazement. I'm going to perform with one of my favourite instruments. This is what I do. I make audiences believe they're watching the impossible by twisting their tiny minds. Tonight, my instrument of mentalism is the six-inch surgical steel spike. All right, wish me luck. Good to meet everybody. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Everyone excited about this evening's proms? Well, you'll be delighted to hear I'm only going to be on stage for about four or five hours. I'm David Mead and I'm a mentalist. No, that doesn't mean I'm a crazy fool. I'm a performer who entertains people with tricks that mess with their minds. And one solid steel spike knot. Whoa. Now, no, I want you to check that and make sure that that's absolutely solid. It's it pretty, pretty spiky to me. Yeah, it yeah. isn't telescopic, it doesn't unscrew, and it won't fall out the bottom. Okay. Happy no? Uh, very well. I wouldn't say I was happy, but... <laughs> the steel spike ensures that I have the undivided attention from this evening's host, Noel Thompson, who thinks he might get his hand skewered. All right, Noel. Noel, if I had to ask you, based even on odds alone, would you say this is more likely to be safe or dangerous? Bearing in mind, Noel, it's only a one in four. Well, what are you going to do? Well, if... <laughs> <laughs> Now, no, well, if you had to guess, it's only a one well, on the basis one in four chance, I'd say it's going to be safe. OK, so statistically, it feels like it should be safe. All right, no, lean forward for me. So, folks, I need you to count from five to one, and then very slowly we'll press down, all right? Start with me. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good decision, no. Good decision. But I can't forget that while I'm on stage, I have to keep the crowd completely engaged in what's going on. Yeah, I have no idea. It's a one and three, if you had it's to guess. More likely to be safe or dangerous? Well, it's still more likely to be safe. All right, Noel, face away for me. No, no. When can I say no thanks? And folks, five again for me. Five, five four, four, three. three. Yeah. That was just for theater, Noel. I'm sorry about that one. Let's hear it for Noel, everyone. Good decision. <laughs> Right, folks, we're down to two cups. When we're down to two what? cups, that the adrenaline That's a really starts boat. to flow. <laughs> folks, can you sense the adrenaline on stage? It's it's called fear, not adrenaline. I have to manipulate what the crowd see. Now, Noel, in a moment, I'm going to have you raise one hand, any hand that you like, high up into the air. Don't think about it. Don't say a word. Raise one hand high up into the air. Go ahead and do it. That one. Are you certain? Put that behind. What they think they see. <sighs> Oh, you poor wee chicken. <laughs> and most importantly, when they think back, what they thought they saw. There, all the time, 